Hi guys. Checking the cigarette? Yes, ma'am. What is your room number? Uh, 8516. Just a Cody, right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, there's a camera, everybody. Give me a sec. <laughs> Alright. So, everybody, today you're meeting a. Stinger. And the kind of stinger you're meeting today is a. Stinger. Alright, let's, let's play. Which, which one does it match? Southern. Southern. Southern, yes, Southern Stinger. We've got about 52 of them out in the water. All of them are females. And lucky for you, some of them are pregnant. Alright, so you might get a chance to touch, it's dark out. You might get a chance to touch a pregnant female. So we're going to start with that because it's important that you're gentle when you touch. We're going to use nice open palms and everywhere in the body is okay, except for the eyes, which is self-explanatory, right? But the pregnant ones will have a puffy part towards the back on either side of the tail right here. So as you're touching, if you notice right there, feel free, oh, sorry, don't feel free. Please don't apply too much pressure in that area, alright? So just be mindful when you're touching. Everywhere else is fair game. But eyes, like I said before, don't touch there. Obvious reasons, we all appreciate our eyes, right? For the most part, cool, right? Yeah. I'll just take yeah. the head nods, great. <laughs> a few inches behind the eyes, you have these holes that open and close. That is called their spiracles. It's just a real complicated word for nose. Just think of it as their nose, all right? On the bottom, you got their gills, right here. Kind of look like shark gills because they are cousins of sharks. So, you know, it just fits. So you can think of them taking a deep breath through their gills, like you breathe through your mouth, and then exiting through your nose. All right, so once again, don't touch the eyes and don't stick your finger inside the spiracles, aka the nose. Treat your nose, just keep it to yourself, all right? Cool, awesome. Like I said, everywhere else is fair game. All right, feel free to touch, rub, love, show affection, all that good stuff. The tail, anybody worried about the tail? No, yes. Stink. Well, to make you feel better, buddy, all 52 of them still have their stinger in their tail. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do not fully remove the barbs because this is an open, pretty much an open system that we have them in. If a hurricane comes through, like Dorian back in 2019, we'll actually drop the nets and allow these animals to move freely out into the ocean. Because why keep them in here if the hurricane's going to destroy the net, they get tangled in the net, they can't move. So we allow them to move freely. If they don't want to come back like the males did, because we got 52 females, they just don't come back. All right? So uh, what we do is we trim the barbs about every four to six weeks. This is like cutting your toenails, it doesn't hurt them, it just keeps you safe. So we trim the barbs, uh, if they don't want to come back, it'll grow back out in the ocean, they can continue to defend themselves out of the natural environment. Simple as that. All right? So you can feel free to touch the tail, you don't have to be worried, all right? Another thing is, please don't step on our stingrays. How do we avoid stepping on stingrays? Stingray shuffle. You guys have done this before. Keep your feet in the sand, toes in the sand, and just shuffle them down. The one lady said glide, so yeah, just glide. Alright? Ever since I heard glide, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Alright? So yeah, just keep your feet in the sand. If you get nervous, someone always ends up getting nervous. It's usually an adult. So, just go ahead and shuffle backwards, all right? Shuffle backwards. Um, when you're meeting... So yeah, when we're out there, you're gonna have a floating platform in front of you. You're gonna have singers coming up one at a time, two at a time. Sometimes three at a time. <laughs> but that means you'll have about 50 stingrays swimming around you aimlessly. They're going to swim between your legs, behind you, in front of you. They're going to touch you. All right? See? So yeah, that's why people used to freak out. <laughs> so you'll be looking at one stingray and all of a sudden this big gelatinous feeling is going to come past your leg on the backside. It's just a stingray. Don't worry. Try not to freak out. All right? I'm depending on you adults. All right, I don't need you guys freaking out. The kids are usually cool. When you guys start screaming, they start screaming, and then I start crying. All right, so let's, let's hold it together, everybody. All right. Uh, any questions so far? All right. So your mask. Everybody knows how to wear the mask. Yes. Cool. Your vest. If you can swim, you don't have to blow it up. If you do, we need to blow it up. 
simply just press down on the little black part and then blow into it. Uh, it is pretty much low tide, so the left side of the lagoon right here, where we're going to start, is low tide. Well, it's was shallow, I'm sorry, shallow. Over to the right, it gets deeper. So if you can't swim, you don't want anybody to know that you can't swim, just stay in this area, okay? <laughs> All right, we do have left guard of duty. Help is usually the key word um, when we need help. Uh, and yeah, cool. Oh, one last thing, important. The mouth. A lot of people are like, oh my god, do they have mouths? Yes, they have mouths, because they gotta eat. But do they have teeth? No teeth whatsoever. It's just, hola. Sorry. Oh, you're good, you're on vacation. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be here as early either. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there are no teeth inside the mouth. You got a jaw structure, similar to yours, top jaw, bottom jaw. It's just designed to just crush all the food that they eat. Simple as that. Take a bite of it. Right? Shrimp, squid, little kids' toes, especially painted ones. <laughs> <laughs> so when we get a chance to feed, oh yeah, so when we get a chance to feed, just remember the eyes are in line with the mouth on the bottom, all right? We don't ask you to put your hand under there to feed them, but some people have done this before. They're like, I want to put it straight into their mouth. I can't stop you from doing that. But just remember the eyes are lined up with the mouth. So when a stinger is in front of you, you see the eyes, your hand's going past the eyes. They don't have teeth, but you can feel it back. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna be feeding on Mickey's face. Because it's funny, it's, it's Mickey. Feed <laughs> on his face, he's like there, but. Don't do that. It's a pain to make. That's why we're not using no. Alright, so I'm gonna give you fish in your hand. We give squid, shrimp, and this really nasty jello that I have to make them every day, but it's packed with nutrients and vitamins, and they need it, so we feed it. Alright, so you're gonna put your hand on Mickey's face with the fish, and when we tell you to move your hand, you move your hand, leaving the fish right there. And then the stinger will come on by, gobble it up, and when the stinger eats the fish, you can simply rub the stingrays back. Alright? And like I was telling them before, for those who just came, um, all the stingers are still in the tail, so nothing to worry about. Alright? <laughs> Take good touch everywhere, just be mindful of the eyes, which are in the front of the body, obviously. And when you get into the water, just shuffle your feet in the sand. All right, and even when you're standing at the platform, just try not to like, lean back and forth and lift your toes out of the sand, because they are bottom feeders. If you're sticking your big toe up, and this would about it, it look like a shrink. Okay. <laughs> She's like, okay, this is scary. <laughs> All right. All right, any last questions before we get started? Comments, queries, Disney rated dirty jokes? <laughs> Okay, so we just place it on there and then lift. Let go. Let go. And move your hands slowly. Because you move it too fast, the food is going to go yeah. over their head and they won't be able to get it, okay? Okay. So just move your hand nice and slow. I'm going to have your fingers. Just like that. And rub her down. <laughs> Oh, 
So how you like that, Anna? They are so fluffy and squishy and cute. I love them. Yeah. <laughs> They're adorable little babies. 